there's a consistent body of research looking at poor indoor air quality in homes. There is a DEFRA study that suggests that NO2 levels of, are responsible for 23,500 uh, deaths uh, per year. Um, and there's a, a rising link to, to asthma with children. Um, there's growing demand for discussion around higher grade filtration in urban areas, particularly in London. So if you think external air quality is a problem, uh, make sure that you consider the ventilation strategy and the, the early part in the project to make sure that all the requirements can be met. So this is a NOx filter. This is the 21 litres per second version, suitable for dwellings of around 100 square metres. Um, so uh, in terms of duct connections, we have a 204 by 60 connection. You're also available as a 125 mil round. Uh, typically about 20 kilos in weight. And then you've got a bank of carbon filter medias uh, inside. This one in the centre is a unique colour cell feature, um, which shows the unit degrading over time and when they need to be replaced. And it turns from white to pink. So the NOx filter is uh, designed into the system, um, you can see on the supply air network. This has the um, benefit of reducing the uh, requirement for maintenance by bringing air into the heat recovery unit, pre-filtering with the G4 filter first, before entering the NOx filter and providing fresh air into the room. Some key considerations when specifying a NOx filter would be to make sure that the, com the component has been allowed for in the system as part of the overall air distribution layout. Um, the second important thing would be uh, location. Uh, this being a horizontal mount, you'd need to make sure that you had sufficient space for access as maintenance would be required ongoing. So in terms of maintenance for the NOx filter, if placed where recommended on the supplier network of the heat recovery uh, ductwork, this wouldn't need to be looked at for up to five years. Um, in terms of replacements, uh, there is a replacement service pack available consisting of a G3 filter and um, however many carbon cells are needed and depends, the quantity depends on the, the different sizes. To make things simpler, uh, we have a viewing window so that you can see the colour cell uh, changing um, once the filters degrade over time.